Do we need okay. to have him locked up? Uh, I mean, he's. he's just, I would keep him locked he's up. Willing he's willing to go with you. No, I'd keep him locked up. Okay. For all that I know, he's just saying that to gain our confidence. True, but he just seems. He seems a little broken now. No, he just realized that he was insane and other people were able to stop, so he must have had something wrong with him if he was a, like hanging on for dear life. Um Okay. So you guys head back to the cabin. What do you do? I'm assuming yes. that Wyatt collected all the stuff with with, uh, Why it wasn't no, they anything. didn't connect to anything. That's stealing. Stealing is bad. God, you adults not knowing the rules. Well, when no, Charlie gets back, we'll get, get some murdered. information about what it is. Why he wants us to take it. First, it's You'll okay have... to take guys' things, then it's okay to slaughter a family. Like that's just how it goes down. A slippery That's slope, a you see. A bit of a jump there, Wyatt. Okay. Um, I'll let you guys uh, collaborate with each other. Um, I have to step away for a second. Um, because I assume you're going to want to talk about what just happened in the woods. And Elias is pretty well shut down at the moment, so... So when we get back, I'll take him into the cabin. All right. All right. So, uh, so what happened? Why did you want us to gather up his stuff? We're not leaving him here. Charlie wants to bring him back, which is good. He needs he needs some help. That doesn't answer my question. What happened? Out in the woods, we found he led us to an artifact. All uh, right, it looked like an altar. Yeah, and I I pulled out the paper and show you the writing. It, it had this on it, but when he touched it, it started turning him into the creature. The creature we saw in the cave. That creature isn't some creature from another dimension. No, that it's creature, a person. It's Rachel. Oh. See, not a creature. Person. No. The altar corrupted her and turned her into something else. And Rocky. when we tried to take pictures of the altar, it screwed with our cameras. So that's why Charlie was writing down the symbols. We'll have to see if there's any other, if we can find any other evidence of this. I but that's why he was wanting you to gather it. I don't awfully trust taking convenient. pictures of this to work, so we got to take all of it with us. That's stealing. No, it's not stealing actually, if we're taking the man with us. We're keeping wants, his possessions He wants us him. to help him. All right, we'll uh, we'll gather this stuff up because I'm sure he'll want his research nearby at the very least. Um, Are there boxes around? I'm guessing. Well, maybe not. No, it's irrelevant. We all can bag it. We can box it. Whatever. We'll get it with um, us. Yeah. Um. I guess we should start making our way back then. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to let Frankie know what the heck was going on here. I'm sure they'll be very interested in the whole thing as well. All right. And I uh, got most of this stuff on camera already, but who knows if it gets corrupted or not. Yeah. You get back and look at the pictures and it's gone. Who knows? But I will say this, the uh, television show has gotten information 
that's going to make a good show if we can get any of it on camera. I have a picture of what the uh, uh, altar did to his arm. And no. it's not corrupted? I assume not. All right, well, we'll check that out when you get back. All right. Did we have everything gathered up? I would assume. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it'd be hard to miss anything. Well, hard not to miss. It wouldn't be hard to get it all. Do we want to stop at the ruins or no, I guess not with him in the vehicle. Well, it might be we... okay with him in the vehicle. He might be able to tell us something. Also, not if they're not anywhere. that far out of town, we could always come back to them. Yeah, I just figured since we had the gator. Yeah, but he may have information too. You never know. Yeah. Well, I don't think he's going to be opening up much more today. All right. Hey, uh, Wyatt, you said you were going to be listening for uh, some voices. Did you hear anything when we were wandering around? Nope. Yeah, me neither. All right. Okay, so we'll start walking back. And that's where we wait for the keeper to come back. It's in the middle. Is it true, Elias? Great. Do you want them to take your stuff? I, Elias isn't saying anything. Elias is kind of just looking uh, uncomfortable with uh, the new Elias, truth that snap he has. Out. Snap out of it. I need your... They, we need your consent, buddy. Come on. 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 Do whatever you want. Come on. Consent, Wyatt. This stuff is the ramblings of an insane person. Thank you. This is, see guys, he, he admits ramblings of an insane person and you want to take it. Yes. What happened to the music? What music? You just stopped playing. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, uh, so you guys are leaving the cabin? Yes. Yeah, we gathered up all the stuff that we could. Okay, so Anything you guys... Important. Okay, so you guys are heading back to the mule, I believe you called it? Yes. And I mule, gator, was, whatever. Yeah, while I was gone, I, I'm pretty sure Maxine referred to it as a gator. Whatever that means. Did I? Yeah. Yes. It's the same thing. Okay. Uh, maybe a different anyway. brand. Maybe. Anyway, so you guys uh, managed to make your way back through the fog. Um, still hearing the like overlapping voices in the fog kind of whispering. Um, but you managed to make it back. And also, I did hear while I was gone, um, you said you were going to get Elias to try and help you out with the ruins. Um, I want to be very clear that Elias thought the symbols on the um, on the altar were saying that it was a gateway to another dimension. So I'm not sure how reliable his information is for you if you were to get his info on the ruins. Just say it. I'm still thinking we just we can go back to the ruins in the future if we want. Okay. Uh, what are you? Where are you taking him? I'm assuming there's not a psychiatric hospital here. No. <laughs> so I'm gonna take him to the law enforcement. Take him to the police station. Okay. Yes. At this point, uh, you are probably looking. I would at like about... to go with him to the police station. Okay, 
Um, at this point, you're probably looking at about 11 in the morning, maybe, maybe almost even noon. And you pull up to the police station in a mule with a man in zip ties. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going to take him into the station. You're going to run in front. Okay. Wyatt, you bolt into the police station. What are you doing? I'm going to inform them that there is a man who has wrongfully kidnapped another man in zip ties, and he is uh, stupidly bringing his victim to the police station, and that he should be arrested for false imprisonment. Okay, can you have this conversation with a person instead of yes. just... Yes. Okay. Uh, so you wander into the police station and there's a, a girl behind Run. the counter. Run into the police station and there's a girl behind the counter just filling out some paperwork. Um, and she's like, whoa, Excuse me. whoa, whoa. How are you? There's a man. What's... He wrongfully imprisoned somebody. He kidnapped him. And he is bringing him in here in zip ties he's not exactly the most sane person the person he's talking to thinks he's insane but he's wrongfully imprisoned somebody and he shouldn't be allowed to run free after kidnapping someone like that he's not a police officer S sorry who's doing and at this point uh charlie walks in with charlie. yeah oh but victor would be with charlie so yeah there would be i'm assuming i wasn't going in alone <laughs> All oh, alone. um, we'll you must be the person he's talking about. Um, uh, why is this man in zip ties? Him. This is a lie. We found him out in the woods, and he's a danger to himself. Uh, I, oh. I don't know what to do with him, so I brought him here. He wasn't a danger to anybody. He was all right by himself. Danger to uh, himself is a difference between danger to anybody, but thank you um son uh it's thank you for your advice and i'm sure it was very scary seeing this man taken but sometimes people do need to be taken care of this way just so that they don't hurt themselves by the proper authorities you're not yes supposed and to take now we are hands. going to be the proper authorities to deal with this thank you um what was he doing he was out uh. in the woods taking notes which they wanted to steal those as well. Yeah, at this point, I'm going to go and take Wyatt out of the picture. Okay. <laughs> um, are you his guardian? He's not my. He's not my guardian. Ah. Now I'm being kidnapped. Uh, okay. No, but we are res we are responsible for him. We will get him out of here for you. You were here the other day with that other. The other person, right? A Frankie, I believe. Uh, That's you me. go ahead. Victor? Yes, Victor right? and Frankie yeah. went to the police station. Yes, I was here with Frankie. That's right. Okay. I assume this is all part of the show thing? Yes, he's part of the show. That's right. And he likes to act up a lot. Okay, well, you can take him. This is um, not scripted. Uh, yeah. Have exactly. a great day. Um, so what was he doing? Oh. Sorry. Uh, he is out in the middle of the woods talking about hearing voices. Try, uh, when I was out there, I saw him almost get mauled by a bear because he wasn't being well, really. So I will say he has him. frostbite from his hands all the way up to his shoulders. So you could give him another option. Oh, right. Uh, I forgot about that. Uh, we He's were talking to him and he ever. ran off into the woods and I found him climbing into, like, he broke into the ice and was climbing into water. Oh, wow. Uh, we gotta get him to the clinic, too. Um, okay. Uh, well, we'll get this dealt with. Thank you for bringing him in and I'm sorry that you had to deal with that. Um, he is right, though. Uh, it's not great to take law into your own hands, but I do understand the situation. So, thank you. 
It's not something I would normally do, but there wasn't time to wait for you guys to get out No, there. no, I understand. It's deep in the woods. It's okay. Um, but yeah, if you have any other issues like this, just let us know and we'll try and help you out. Again, I understand if it's deep in the woods again, you're not going to be able to do that. But uh, thank you for this one. Yep, we'll, thank you we'll for get understanding. The next one. And I will... Head. Yep. Okay. Oh, there's a cloud that looks like a bunny in this video. Um, I got us. This is the worst police station ever. No, not really. That seems about right. All right, uh, so you head out, and Wyatt is still like screaming at uh, Victor and flailing. No, oh, no. Once we left, once we left the police building, I just stopped. Oh, never mind. As soon as I was, I just my, dead calm. All like, of those is... comments were in character to Victor. Okay. No, I know. See, Victor, this is why with our world is falling apart. The police <laughs> and the the authorities just don't do anything anymore. <laughs> they're presented with obvious facts of somebody who just kidnapped somebody and attempted to steal their stuff and their answer is hat on the back and he's probably going to come walking out of here because I tried to tell him you were kidnapping me and you weren't my guardian and they didn't listen to me either so they are clearly blind and they're also leading to the downfall of our society this is why crazy people exist. How old is Wyatt again? <laughs> I think this that was out of character. The other part was in character. Uh, this is when I come walking out. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. Wyatt, shut up and get back in. All right, what's our plan? The slippery slope there, lizard man. Now he's a lizard man. Now Victor's a lizard man. Not Victor. No. That was, oh, a, I think that was still to no, Charlie. Still still to him. <laughs> they don't multiply. I wish I God. I got approval when I was making a character to be a lizard man. <laughs> Everybody, nobody's looking and he's licking his eyeball. <laughs> what do you think I do in my room when it's locked at night? Got a moisturizer. Your Charlie suit and put on the moisturizer? Exactly. All right. Well, if nobody's going to say anything, I think we should drop off all this information back at the lodge. And then if you guys want to go take a look at the ruins, we can, but we should get a bite to eat first. It's a, It's got to be around noon. Sure, Frankie will need to hear all this as well. Frankie, be very... Frankie's, uh... this, Frankie's not joining us. No. That's fine. I'm saying we got to take it back there. Frankie will want to see this stuff as well. Well, if they don't want to go over, or if they don't want to come with us, they can uh, go over the information while we're gone. Look through the notes and see if there's anything salvageable or if it was all just non coherent ramblings of a madman. Well, from what you guys told us at the lodge, or at the lodge, at Elias's place, it's not all crazy because look what happened. There's something there, obviously. There's something there, but I don't think he really knew what was going on. So, Maxine, when you touched the thing, what what did it say to you? What happened with you? It was... It's hard to explain. It's like... It was... Like it was revealing secrets, but it's like I don't even know what those secrets were. It was like it was... So it was making offers to you. Yeah, uh... it was making me feel like... 
I would get answers to things and I I don't even know if I know what those things were. It was, it was very enticing. To, it was trying to give you a reason to hold on so it could yeah. invert you. It was very enticing, but I just, yeah. Just the way different things have gone in my life, it's like, no, I, I need to know more before I can I just put my full trust in anything. Well, we know that it's not necessarily a truth either, because like Charlie said, that's obviously what happened to Rachel. Yeah, but I could see where, yeah. And like that's what is... would have happened to Elias had you guys not saved him. Well, so, that was all Charlie. Her, that's right. Um, my question is, is there more of those altars around or is that the only one? And Charlie's saying that's Rachel. So it's like, are there more of those creatures? Like, I don't. According to Elias, I know he says he's crazy, but he mentioned multiple creatures, more than one. No, he didn't. He mentioned a creature and the he fog. He mentioned a creature and the fog. He specifically stated he has only seen one creature, but the fog right. is always there. I don't think we there's don't... more than one. I think Rachel's the only one. So, these different people that had stated that they had seen a red-eyed whatever, so that was always Rachel? Like, is, like I don't know how long ago those things happened, or when Rachel... Everything when started Rachel happening... At the end of last year, so this is 2024, so it started happening like around the end of 2023. Is that a bit after, after, after Rachel, Rachel went missing? Rachel went missing about a year and a half ago. Okay, so is Rachel, yeah, so is Rachel trying to connect to people? Like, why is she appearing to different people? Like, didn't didn't we see something or didn't one of us see something at the restaurant the other day? Or was just that a handprint? It was at Turner's pub you saw eyes. And who was that that saw Charlie. that? Charlie. Just Charlie? Yeah. And then I'm the only all, one that seems to witness anything. Charlie's the only one who all gets us, any info. All of us saw the handprints though. Yeah. Yes. I mean you all saw the monster too when it attacked you all. Uh huh. Yeah. So, would any of the habits of the creature be like it was trying to reach out or warn us, or is it just like trying to scare us? So nope. far, it's all been causing mayhem, trying to scare. Yeah, I I don't think there's anything left of Rachel in it. What's the point? What's the point, though? Like what? What is the creature? If we're not going to refer to it as Rachel, like what? What's it trying to do? Because, like we said, in the cave, it wasn't, it didn't attack us. It was after Frankie uh, hit it with an axe. And then Oliver, what did he, what did he hit it with? Oh, no, he shot it, right? Just unloaded on it, yeah. And, so it's like it wasn't trying to attack it, attack us. Did it just want us to stay away from the cave? Like, like that's. It might just be trying to defend its territory. Do I need to remind you what you found in the cave? A body. What Frankie found? Frankie found something in the cave. The notebook, correct? Rachel's diary. And you said that it had the ramblings, like she was going crazy, correct? Kind of, yep. So we'd no. have to go th through the notebook more, I'm no, assuming. I gave no. you all the info that was in the notebook. Notebook. So it's not an instant change when the creature touching the altar changes you. It just it's a slow corruption it slowly takes over mm. 
Did okay. you just deliver death to the police department? <laughs> I stopped him before it took over. Okay, so... What if, uh, how much would have his arm gone back to normal than the time it took back to it was, get back? It was 100% back to normal. Okay, yeah, so. yeah. Like I said, when you got there, it was just covered in frostbite. Okay. And Elias still wasn't saying anything. He was just... <coughs> he was just chilling. <coughs> Hello? Just... Okay, so... Is anybody talking, like... or is it... Okay. I was like, did I lose connection completely? <laughs> okay, so... With Elias, he's slowly been, but surely been going crazy. But then all of a sudden, when he put his hands on the altar... If he had kept his hands on the altar, he would have turned into a creature because you were seeing the veins and the skeleton. Yeah, it was turning into the same type of arm the creature had. Okay. So, but that's what that's what I'm point... saying is like you're saying it's a gradual, uh, like a gradual thing, but that didn't seem. It's I'm like all of a sudden mentally, now. Mentally, it's gradual. The only reason I believe that uh, Charlie is saying that it's gradual is because uh -huh. the diary was obviously brought to that cave. Yeah. The so diary was brought there. It was talked about. Was it dated? It was dated, but I don't have exact dates for you. It's what, like would the, have it been dated like over the year or kind of right before the disappearance? It was right before the disappearance. Okay, then I wouldn't have put out that opinion. Well, you can still have that opinion solely oh, based on the fact I... that I... she brought Ugh. that notebook to that cave. So she did have some sort of mental connection no. to that notebook. True. But my logic has changed then. Your logic's a little bit different, yes. Yeah. So when it converted there was some of rachel left because she took her diary with her mm -hmm. and the how long ago did the sightings of a creature start uh near the like december ish so she would have been gone for upwards of a year before the thing started happening yep so from the diary it ended like a, about a year ago but the sightings of her showing up in town only started recently so that it's over a month ago yeah so that says at least until recently maybe she was able to keep it under control let me let me just check that real quick because i want to make sure that i'm giving you the right information um no i was wrong um November 17th The furthest one back is October 9th, 2023. That's Although the that is sighting that that's no, that's never mind. That one you haven't even found yet. So, I shouldn't have given you that. But the one you, the furthest one back that you have is November 17th, 2023. So yeah, that's sighting starting upwards of 10 months after she disappeared. Um, someone give me a sharp roll. I got it. Okay. 
I would say Maxine or uh, Charlie would be a good choice. Go roll. Just because they're kind of piecing together the puzzle right now. I will roll then. Okay, right, go ahead. Twelve. Twelve. Ooh. Perfect. Okay, so one thing that springs to mind at this moment in time there's one other thing that you're not really considering about that time when does it start getting cold nothing happened over the summer oh. Uh, when more specifically did she disappear? A year and a half ago is all I can give you. I don't have an exact date. Year and a half, but that would have been another winter gone by without any sightings. Yeah. So. It may not, there had to be some of her left in there, in there for her to take the diary with her. There, there wasn't any sightings last winter, so either she was working her way closer or had enough control not to terrorize the town. But it seems they lose their ability in the summer. Well, okay, well, except I wrote this down for some reason. This was back a little ways. That it was when Wyatt was talking to Finn. Because he was talking about that Finn was looking for a mon, or he told Finn that he was looking for a monster. So he was saying, first thing in the morning before his son no snow you'll find icy footprints follow might see a monster in the middle of a summer of summer cold spots may see monster so it's like there must be there's areas also where it, there's also more than one monster in this area i will tell you right now okay finn isn't just talking about one monster because <laughs> finn is all about monsters it wouldn't be a good campaign if we solve this one and oh it's over yeah finn is going to be no, one no, person that... that you talk to a lot about a bunch of different things okay but yeah but it was just that was something because you guys were talking about the summertime and i'm like i remembered something about summertime but that was him saying that yeah because we've got on and off for a few months, whispering, hearing whispering, power flickering. Uh, yeah. There's a chance to deal with the creature. Maybe we can get Rachel to remember who she was. What if we just capture her and warm her up? I don't think we'll be able to capture her. None of our weapons what, no had zip ties any effect. Work. No nets, no nothing. It was able to teleport past us in the cave. If it can move like that, how can we bind it? Uh, I... I've... Feel like we can weaken it with heat. I think so too, but it oh, yeah. never oh, has shown Oliver us. wanted to start a fire. It has never shown us aggression, 
until we no. went at it first. No, but it is getting braver by coming in. Okay, what did what did uh, what did Elias say about when we brought up Rachel's name? What did he say? He said she we're going to talk about, about her. She was... No, yeah. that's what he said. No, and but then, then later when... that she went to she's gone to the other side pretty much. Yes. Like I wonder whether bringing no, except that I don't want to risk him. We can't risk anyone else. It's not yes. fair. We cuz I don't know if that would tempt heat. I don't know if that would tempt her or not anyway. We can try heat to weaken her, but I think eat, we need to where? at least try to reach I don't know. Like the cave? Like But I, I think we need to at least try to see if there's any humanity left in her. And I honestly don't know if we could do anything with heat because everything that we throw at this whether it's the altar or whatever with power doesn't seem to work. My guess is even a fire would just be extinguished. But it doesn't hurt to try. It's not a forest fire. You sure? Okay. Okay. No. <laughs> okay, so what about even the the Zoom thing that we were talking about? Quantum Realms Unveiled. That's tomorrow. No, no, I know, but it's like maybe there'd be something in it. I don't know. It's like, I'm just... It doesn't hurt to go, uh, throwing sign Throwing things on at the wall end. here. Worst case scenario, we lose some time. True. Also, I know it's really none of our business, Charlie, but what's the goal of the show? I mean, we're just here for security. But we're uncovering a mystery. We're we're it's like we're either proving or disproving. Isn't that the point? Yeah. Well, I know the name of the show is the search. Yeah, well we're searching for the truth, whether it be that this is something or it's somebody doing something and it's affecting people. Is there anybody what happened at the mill? Are you asking me or what? Yeah. That was just That was just a thing you found power online. Power outages. No. Nope. Yeah, but that it's was not power outages. Um, lights and whispering. Um, our investigative team ventured into the eerie halls of the abandoned mill today, responding to reports of unexplained phenomena. Uh, witnesses okay. have spoken of mysterious lights flickering in the distance and strange whispers echoing through the empty corridors. As investigators explore, early signs point towards a potential electrical malfunction as the source of these enigmatic occurrences we will be providing in-depth analysis as our team delves further into this peculiar mint um is the abandoned mill mystery. off in the same direction that we went off to yes but so the it's whispering not, they heard but it's been... not going up into the woods it it's going straight out on the road would have it been close enough to where we found the fog that it could be related no, you were way okay. far into the woods when the fog started happening. Okay. Okay. So what is the draw for trying to figure out what the draw for the creature or whatever is? Basically. It's already coming here every night. Why is it coming here? Correct. It's like what's what's the point? It's like you have two people that well, one that went off the deep end 
And then with Elias, he almost did. But Charlie pulled him off that thing. But it's like, what's the point of the other ones coming into town? Like, besides scaring people, what is it? I don't think it was ever shared with us that all that wants to do is scare us. <laughs> no, no, no. But I'm just talking about, like, from okay. the things that we've... I'm just going by things that I've read. Because it's like, it's not actually hurting, hurting anybody. It's causing power outages, flickering lights, you hear whispering... Um, some people have seen red eyes. It sounds like it's just trying to screw with people. But for what reason? What's the point? It's like people aren't leaving. Maybe it gains health from... Maybe it's like monster. fear. Monsters, Inc. Health from fear, no, not power, well, not energy. How Maybe it's just bored out here and is enjoying doing it. Well, I don't know. We can think about this. Let's uh, get some food. I'm starving. Where are you going for food? Are you going to the pub or the diner? Diner. Okay. Yeah, we got to take all and drop off all this stuff anyway. Yeah, you're just gonna drop it at the lodge. Yeah. Okay. As the you enter the lodge. Right door. Yeah. As you enter the lodge, Tom is in the uh, is in your briefing room. Let's call it. And he's like, "Sure. Oh, hey. Uh, so, um, any new updates? Uh, did you find your man? Like, what's going on? Keep me updated. I want to stay in the loop." We found him. Who is this again? Tom. You know this Tom. Is, Tom is the... He's your best friend, Wyatt. Your oh, bestie. Yeah. So Charlie is taken to kidnapping and suggesting yeah. that we steal. Wyatt, come on. That's... No. We no. found one. Don't found think him. that you can come Wyatt, up with ways to... Uh, justify things doesn't mean it's right we found the alternative is a man dying that is not good so probably best that we listen to the adults Wyatt um yeah. to say we found Elias and Charlie helped him to not turn into a creature turn into a creature there's an altar out there that when you touch it, it changes you. We think, for sure. It's not we think, we witnessed. Oh, okay. right. Hey, um... Rachel, the girl that went missing a year and a half ago, she is the creature that's been terrorizing the town. I don't want to sound insensitive, but maybe we could have let that happen and then got some footage of it. I I don't think I'm we not could get gonna let nothing. Man, I'm not going to let a man die for a show. And Are they we've dead? never been able to get any footage. Do you know that they're dead? No. We're not letting someone die, Tom. Who says they're dead? You hired me to protect the crew and to protect the public. See what I'm talking so, about. Would it be okay if one of us turned into these things? No, of course not. I pay you. Well, I'm very disappointed. So then, why in is you, it Tom? okay if you that if the an innocent bystander does? I mean, he was already doing it. Did he want to do it? See, Charlie. This is what I'm trying to prevent you from becoming. It's a slippery slope. First, you're going to hey, kidnap fine. somebody. I'll be quiet. Then you're going to suggest that we let somebody die. No, it's fine. You did the right thing. I appreciate it. Did we get any sort of evidence or footage or anything proving that this was the case? Pictures. All right. Uh, I guess think. that'll have to be good enough, even though well, people uh, are going to say it's doctored. Points it out. You become indignant. Are the pictures corrupt? Because 
that would be easy to look at. The picture that you have on your phone is not correct. Yeah, so all I it shows is a man with ice on his arms. Well, it would have shown the clear veins in that too. It didn't show up. Oh damn. A, it was dark. B, it was foggy. Oh, true. Alright, well, it's good, I guess, but it just looks like a guy stuck his hands in water and then froze. Well, uh, whatever. Uh, thank you for saving the man's life. That's great. Um, I'll do some more looking into this. You know, fun fact, that's not how ice freezes. Not to, like, give credence to Charlie's photos or anything, but... Yes, but it also could be doctored to look that way. So, that's why we're hoping for video evidence. It's not that hard to doctor videos, either. I know, but it's a little bit harder than photos. Well, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news on this one, Tom, but uh, every time we're near this creature, uh, power is an issue. Any video we've tried getting of it gets corrupted immediately. Okay, so come on, let's think of some ideas. What what are we what are we thinking? How do we hey, Charlie, why how do we come up with some stuff? The video to add the veins that you think you saw. Why it? Why don't, for once in your life, you stop talking? Is there any old school type of filming that perhaps would not be affected by... Because anything digital seems to be garbage, so... Well, do you guys have... Uh, I mean, we possibly might be able to... But then we're going to run into the same issue that the Bigfoot people do. It's just some person wearing a costume. So. Wow. Well, that's the only way we're going to get video. Take it or leave it. Do you have any way to, like, make its powers worse? Well, we think that we could use heat. But again, how do we power the heat source? when it seems to be a walking EMP machine. Yeah, the strong it, it gets stronger the colder it is. I uh, believe there was no sightings over the summer because it was too warm out for it to have any effect. See, now that, that's good info. So if I find some way to heat uh, up a uh, area and make it stay warm, is that going to help you guys out? Yes. Okay. I'll look into that for you guys. All right. We got to go for lunch. It's been a long morning. All right. So you guys head across. Is that why they were starting fires? No. We are not starting a fire. No. No. You think they were starting fires to try to make the monster not have powers? Who was starting fires? Is that fires? where the flame cult came from? What? They what were are you really talking looking about? out for the town? There was a Are you talking to Oliver? No. No, this it... was in our pre-game story. This... <laughs> that no, is it was in the actual story, idea. but they they got rid of them. Maybe when they were doing that, they weren't really crazy. Maybe they were trying to make heat the thing up to catch the monster. Stop it. When was this occurring? In the summer. That is way more than I paid attention to. It was in the summer. Um, all right. You guys go and have some lunch, and um, I'll try and find you some sort of device to use analog technology in order to power a heat source <clears throat> good old diesel perfect 
All right, so you guys go and sit down for lunch. Uh, is there anything you want to do during the lunch? No? Okay. Then that's where we're going to call it tonight. And um, you guys are sitting down. questions. Yes, I I did remember those this time. <laughs> so, uh, end of session. Did we conclude the current mystery? No. Did we save no. someone from certain death or worse? Charlie yes. Did. did we learn something new and important about the world? Yes. Yeah. Did we learn something new and important about one of the hunters? No. no. Oh, it's a dick. <laughs> did you say why it's a dick? <laughs> yes. I don't, that new. I don't think people. that's new. <laughs> All right. We got two yeses. So that means we are getting one experience point from this session. Okay. And does uh, Maxine get one extra one for her crap roll or no? Anytime yes. you fail a roll, you should have been marking an experience point. Boom. Oh, okay. okay, so her experience thing is full. So that means you level up. Two tonight. You got two tonight? Cool. One for the questions and one for failing a roll. Yeah, so you get um, to level up, which means you get to pick either plus one charm, plus one cool, plus one sharp, plus one tough, take another gumshoe move, take another gumshoe move. I do? Gain, yes, gain a haven. I wonder if I should take a cool. <laughs> uh, well, what is your cool? Your cool zero. is zero. zero, so plus one would bring you to one. Might not be a terrible idea. Um, gain There's a haven, cool. so you can get like an office or something. Um, and it comes with two options. Uh, you can add four additional or new contacts for Naked City, which is one you have. Yeah. Um, or you can add an extra harm box on the dying side, so you can have one extra hit point. I don't know. I don't think that'll be helpful. I'm thinking the cool. Okay, she's adding plus one cool. So we just tick that box, and, and that and should automatically. The experience. And, yep, and that automatically did it for you. So as soon as I took that box. Okay, done. All right. So now we finally have somebody with some cool in the party. Woo! Did anybody You're else lame. level up? I'm at two experience now. Victor's only got three experience. It's because I suck so much at rolling. Wyatt, you haven't marked your experience. You've already left once, though, eh? Was that? You haven't marked your experience, did you? Uh, Not tonight. Okay, I'll mark it for you. You're at three. Thank you. Yep. And Nathan, you already you already leveled up once, right? Yep. Yes, and yeah, so, did, so did Oliver. Oh, okay. Yeah, Oliver... Oliver power leveled me. Oliver, uh, he uh, he has an ability where if he does something contradictory, he gets an experience point. Um, and then he failed. So he did that twice in one game. Um, and then he also failed rolls and then did the manipulate someone stuff. Yeah. So I leveled up by dealing with Oliver. <laughs> yes anyway right. so hope everybody enjoyed and hope everybody is able to attend next game because i see oliver has been playing another game the entire time we've been playing so that's cool um and frankie just decided <laughs> not to show um so uh we will see who's here next week have a great night everybody bye bye, bye everybody bye bye all Oh, I guess I well, did.